Hey guys, so Kokomi's out tomorrow, so we're gonna listen to Sasuke talk about her and what she's all about. So, here we go. In the western regions of Inazuma lies Watatsumi Island, home to a culture and natural landscape unique in the entire archipelago. According to legend, Orobaxi was Watatsumi Island's guardian deity. Even after being slain, this god's will to protect the island flowed on in the Sanganomiya clan. The current heir to this bloodline is known as the divine priestess, Sanganomiya Kokomi. All is accounted for. Let's move out. Her role is to serve as the island's leader, as well as commander of its armed forces. Behind her delicate appearance lies the mind of a brilliant tactician. She is adept in harnessing the power of Hydro to aid her forces in battle. As their commander, she bravely leads her troops into the fray, sweeping away enemies like sand in the tide. Kokomi spent her childhood on Watatsumi Island. Playing among darting fish and rolling waves, she feels at home in the water. When Sanganomiya Kokomi is in your party, she reduces swimming stamina consumption for your own party members, making exploration faster. Kokomi's normal attack performs up to three consecutive strikes that take the form of swimming fish, dealing hydro damage. Holding the attack button consumes a set amount of stamina and deals AOE hydro damage after a short casting time. Tap Kokomi's elemental skill to summon a Bakekurage created from water that can heal her allies. This ability applies the wet status to Kokomi. The Bakekurage periodically deals hydro damage to surrounding enemies, while also healing nearby active characters. The healing amount scales with Kokomi's max HP. Kokomi summons the might of Watatsumi, dealing hydro damage to surrounding enemies, and dons her watery ceremonial garment. While enrobed in the ceremonial garment, Kokomi's normal attack, charged attack, and Bake Kurage damage are increased. And she regenerates HP for all nearby party members when her normal and charged attacks hit opponents. Kokomi's damage increase and the healing amount both scale with her max HP. Additionally, Kokomi's ceremonial garment increases her resistance to interruption and allows her to walk on the water's surface. After unlocking the talent Tamanoya's casket, casting Kokomi's elemental burst refreshes the duration of her Bake Kurage if already on the battlefield. In the pure glow of her water-woven garment, Kokomi draws power from the traditional song of the Divine Priestess. After unlocking the talent's Song of Pearls, when enrobed by the ceremonial garment, Kokomi's max HP base damage dealt by her normal and charged attacks is further increased by an amount that scales with her own healing bonus. Kokomi plans meticulously for every battle she faces. Her thorough attention to detail ensures that her forces will emerge victorious. Sanganomiya Kokomi sacrifices Crit Lake to increase her healing bonus. Matched with her talent Song of Pearls, she offers stability in any conflict. In the chaos of battle, victory and defeat can hinge on a single moment. Versed in the art of war, Kokomi knows to stay calm and composed as she develops her winning strategy. The survival of her forces being a key part of her ability to seize the moment of victory. In battle, Kokomi uses the Bake Kurage summoned by her elemental skill to recover HP for her teammates and set up perfect conditions for hydro elemental reactions, assisting her allies on the offensive. When needed, she personally joins the fray to unleash her elemental burst strengthening her abilities with the ceremonial garment. Then, with the aid of her teammates and her Bake Kurage, 
Taichi attacks like a tidal wave, overwhelming the enemy and securing victory. Long ago, a god defeated the enemies from the deep and raised the people of Watatsumi from the desolate seabed. Later, another god vanquished their beloved Watatsumi Omikami, leaving the deathly Tataragami in its wake. If you were to liken human history to a great battle, the actions of gods would seem as difficult to predict as the weather, a capricious variable. Faced with such turbulent storms, who knows how long this girl who carries a divine will can protect the people of this island. All right, so that was Kokomi's a little character uh, display there. She, I like the fact she can walk on water, but unfortunately, if you switch to other characters, it cancels it out. So I'm sure people will find a way to combine Ayaka and Kokomi together to where they can cross um, large gaps of water without having to really worry. And, uh, and Sam, what? What do you think about Kokomi? Such a good boy. Such a good boy. Um, yeah, the, the water walking is really cool. Um, come on. There we go. Freaking YouTube sometimes, I swear. I like how the, her attacks are like little tiny fish. It's cute. Ah, uh, take that, you and your stupid shield. I mean, I don't have any problem with breaking shields, but the easier the better. So all around, she looks like a pretty cool character. I mean, for the most part. I mean, <laughs> she's not as... Like, she looks cool, but her attacks and everything, and the fact that she's got, like, a minus 100% uh, crit and all that, just because of, uh, oh, yeah, increases healing, though. Um, I mean, that, that kind of means that the rest of your team has to pretty much make up for the lack of her crit. So, what do you think about it, Sam? What do you think about it, huh? He doesn't care. This cat does not care. Yeah? Really? Really? Well, what else? Would you, do you want to walk on water? Huh? You want to walk on water, Bubba? So, yeah, so that was Kokomi. Anyways, just looking at me. What? What? Go on. God, he's heavy and it's hot. Mwah. What? Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> what, Sam? Yeah. I wish I could open that window for him, but... The AC on and all that. Yeah. I wish I could open that window. As soon as autumn comes, I'm going to get that window. Have the ability to open that window. Yeah, and then you can be in the window all the time. Anyways. Uh... Ooh, God. Uh... What, Bob? 
sorry for all the people who were just expecting a flat out uh, watch of this. But we had a little cat that wanted to disturb us. Um, anyways, yep, she comes out tomorrow. I've already got some Primo saved up, so. Anyways, hopefully you guys pull her. If not, it's not a big deal. Uh, you know, it's not a big deal. Anyways, that's gonna do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Yeah, say bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys.